Because outside is freezing, I installed my car here in the garage. And of course the garage is also my hobby shop. And that also means that I had to move all my junk here closer to the machines and it reduces of course the workspace I have here. So the making of this video will be a little bit more challenging, but we'll see what we can do. So I made some little details trying not to tip over all this junk here uh, while working on my machines and it was impossible to film. So we will have very few footage and some camera angles you had never seen before. Let's go for it. continue And filing. Primitive. Okay, so far so not good at all. This was the first base plate, but it's too short. So I made another one. This used to be the bottom plate of the tail stuck of my lathe, and now it's a part of an experiment. But this distance here too short. So I have to make again a new base plate. And I think I'm gonna make it out of this thing. If you hear some weird noises in the background, it's perfectly normal. Here's my cheap door and here in the not existing door is my heating system for the whole house. It's a perfectly well functioning system, but it's also very noisy. Slowly but surely we're getting somewhere. The flywheel, eccentric. The cylinder and the piston, of course, that seems to work. I made the gland nut. I have a little problem with the nut I have to mount, but we'll see later. Let's take some time to make the connection connecting rod out of this almost perfectly straight piece of something. Okay. 
just a little deeper and it will be good. And now it looks like this. I think it looks promising. It may be a good idea to now drill the vent holes here on top and of course making some kind of gland nut with uh, probably this thing here. Now comes the hard part, trying to deburr on the inside without messing up the surface finish. Hmm. I think that worked. Perfect. Now, the gland nut. When I made this thread here, I'm gonna assemble it a bit, I did a test fit with this nut because it was whatever nut I could find. And it fits, of course. The problem is, this is the only nut that fits on this thread. So I don't know what happened with it, I think it's cut not deep enough or something. So I have to make the gland nut using this one because I cannot recut this thread. I don't have a die for it and I cut it uh, single point on the lathe. And, um... Right, let's try to find some creative solution here. My idea was to drill and tap with my cute little 2mm tap here. Tap three holes and then put this washer here in the center. Held down with three little bolts. That's the idea. But this nut is a bit harder than I like it to be so I'm a bit afraid that I'm gonna break my beautiful cute little taps here. So let's do something else. To make it more or less airtight, 
I will install here a piece of a cow of course a very small piece piece right I will bring you back when it's uh, in place and while I'm fettling around with this little thing here thinking that in my living room it's nice and warm and I'm sitting here freezing my nuts off. Maybe I can try and put them back on again. The whole thing is assembled. Ready to do the first test and of course to make a fool of myself. I promise I didn't try this thing so you will be the first witness of what's gonna happen here. You and me of course. Let's do it. It wants to do something. Ah, oil. The idea works but it doesn't want to continue see if i turn maybe a little bit more like this this is the middle of course nothing will happen end of stroke system here the idea works because the piston goes to the middle but it doesn't continue why not Right, give me some time to think maybe a little bit more about this setup and we'll see later. I'll bring you back. I think I figured out what's wrong with this. Maybe. If I put the piston, end of stroke, apply some air gonna go to the middle position end of stroke the other way stops in the middle position so why is this happening if we have a look at my highly detailed plan here we will quickly understand air is coming in here right if my piston is in this position the pressure that is built up in this chamber can escape in this port. In the meanwhile, air comes in 
through this port in this chamber, right? But the whole system is leaking. Oh, falls in pieces here. Because the whole system is leaking too much, the piston stops in the middle part. So now this part and these other two parts are officially closed. But there's still some air that can leak in here, go in this chamber and can leak here and go in this chamber and the pressure will be equalized in both chambers. So no movement of course. I think the best way to fix this is to install o-rings, one here in the center, one here and one here. But of course I don't have o-rings. So I think this little experiment will be set to hold for the moment because I have to buy some uh, o-rings of course and I will do that I think after New Year. So if you find if you find this kind of fail videos interesting please hit this like button you're only one click away from it and next week we'll uh, 